First of all, I want to thank the Almighty Allah who made it possible for us to host such important summits within one month or even less. I want to thank His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and congratulate him at the same, at the same time for taking over the chairmanship of NAM, which is the Non-Aligned Movement, with a membership of 120 countries and the chairmanship which is going to last for three years. I also congratulate our president for taking over again the chairmanship of G77 plus China uh, with a huge number of member countries up to 134 member countries. That means a lot to our country when our president is the chairman. Of course, so many countries uh, would wish or would be engaging our president, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, our government, the entire government for their own benefits. But in return, we as Uganda, we shall be benefiting uh, in getting uh, huge investments in our country and also the exchange of trade. Uh, there are so many Ugandans who are asking what are we benefiting from these summits. Like I've mentioned, uh, it's a very big privilege to our country to have hosted five important summits within this very short period of time in one month, the month of January, which is not yet, uh, which has not even yet come to an end, that at first we hosted the speakers conference, the speakers of, for the Commonwealth. The same month, few, few uh, days later, around the 15th of this month, we hosted the business forum and it was followed by NAM of which uh, more than 100, around 125 countries participated with a big number of 5,500 foreign participants or foreign delegates and also uh, we hosted the G77, which is also a big group, which consists of 134 member countries. And we also hosted around that time the IGAD summit. So Uganda as a country to host uh, five important conferences or summits within a month. That is something we should be congratulating ourselves for. And we should uh, congratulate and thank uh, our president for the efforts which we have made and our entire government. I take the opportunity to thank the president, to thank the head of uh, public service, to thank the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Trade, and uh, the entire government. I personally, uh, I engaged on different uh, occasions with our PS, uh, Honorable Bajire Waiswa Vicent. So it is something, uh, those efforts, uh, I feel, I personally, that uh, should be appreciated. And Uganda, where people are so much concerned about their benefits, 
yes, we are going to benefit, we stand to benefit as Ugandans and we stand to benefit as a country. I happened to interact with uh, some dignitaries uh, who participated. Uh, first of all, I thank my government for the trust that I served uh, as a Katase ambassador and I got that opportunity of interacting with some important delegates uh, and heads of dele delegations. So uh, I have a lot to share, especially on departure when those heads of delegations uh, were leaving, they were so, so happy. They were all appreciating the pre our president. They are appreciating our government, the hospitality, the welcome, the, uh, you, uh, all what, what they the, the experienced in Uganda in terms of hospitality. And uh, it's something uh, in return, we are expecting to be getting them back uh, not only for the official engagements for summits only, but uh, we are expecting them to be coming back for investment and also for tourism. I happened also to attend some important meetings with the Ex Excellency the President and uh, some investors, uh, may specifically from uh, Qatar, the state of Qatar and the Kingdom of Morocco and uh, they engaged, uh, our president uh, engaged them and uh, convinced them that Uganda is the right place for their investment. Uh, His Excellency uh, engaged them and emphasized on value addition, especially to our coffee, uh, fish, and also fruits. And uh, I'm confident that uh, the, out uh, the outcome shall be uh, uh, good and shall be coming very soon because inshallah because one of the investors uh, his excellency met was the the, the president of the chamber of casablanca in morocco who committed himself to do value addition to co our coffee fish and and fruits and uh, that very person is the person is the person who approves the phosphates which are uh, exported from the Kingdom of Morocco. So we, are, we, we need phosphates as a country to benefit our agriculture sector. Uh, the right person is also uh, in our hands. He's, uh, has become, he has become one of the good friends of our country, Uganda. The Qataris uh, uh, represented by the president, the vice president of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce. They also showed their interest uh, in a meeting we had with His Excellency the President. Uh, they are eager to see Qatar City built in Uganda and uh, they liked the reception which they got from His Excellency the President and the, the support uh, which, which they got. And uh, they thank uh, the, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the, the uh, Minister of, of Investment for the support which was accorded to them and they are very serious and we are expecting them back to come to implement that project, uh, including others where His Excellency the President uh, urged them also to get involved in in uh, in uh, electrical cars, and uh, they picked interest, and the raw material is already here. We have it here in our country in plenty. So those are the, some of the opportunities, uh, plus so many others, and we expect our people to be benefiting uh, in uh, getting jobs because uh, such huge investments, of course, they will come with job creation and also they will boost our economy. Also, on the political side, I happened to attend a meeting uh, uh, with the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, who met His Excellency the President, and he also, uh, the Minister, was so happy with the outcome of the meeting with His Excellency the President, and he promised 
to open the Moroccan embassy here in Uganda. So to my fellow Ugandans, I assure you that we stand as a country to benefit a lot from these summits which just ended and all what we have to do is to support our government, our president during uh, his chairmanship of the three years, uh, of the chairmanship of NAV, NAM for three years and also the chairmanship of uh, G77 for one year. Thank you and uh, we shall always uh, work together to make sure that we benefit our people and we also together we boost the economy of our country. Thank you so much.